Say hello to my little friend. I'm just kidding, I hate these things. If you want to sabotage yourself and your, and your goals of getting healthier, use a scale. It's one of the psychologically most damaging things that you can do to create the right environment for you to be successful. For 20 years, I've watched people get on scales and they get down there, their heads down. They wake up in the morning, they feel disappointed. They feel like they failed. But the reality is the scale doesn't measure your success. It's one variable of many. So if you're only using this as your measurement of success, it will fail you, I promise you that. Now, if it's one of many measurements, five or 10 different tools, your clothes, uh, you have tape measures, if you're using a bod pod or a DEXA scan, if you're working with a scientist, calipers, it can be used as a tool to measure your success. But the reason why I tell people to throw away the scale is because of the psychological warfare you go through. Is that my wife who's going through her cycle and her weight gain, she wakes up, she goes, I feel sexy today. She weighs herself and she gained two pounds and then she felt bad about herself. Well, she's retaining food because it's a part of her natural monthly process. True thing, that actually happened. But this made her feel bad. It wasn't this. The number that she got put it a pattern in her brain that made her feel bad. And so I'm making this the bad thing is that you need to stop using the scale as your tool. Get rid of it. Use your clothes as an indicator. So find a set of clothes that don't fit. Put them up on the back of your door, or put them on first, take a picture. Put them on the back of your door. Actually put them on, celebrate because they're gonna fit soon. Put them on the back of the door. Every two weeks, get back into those clothes until they fit. And then you know your body's transforming because the last thing you ever wanna do is lose weight. You wanna lose body fat. And that's why ketones are so important because they help protect your muscle system from being broken down. Too many people are doing these fad diets and things like that and they're losing weight, meaning muscle, hair, blood vessels, uh, nails. They're losing, the scale's moving, but their body's not healthy. If you're in ketosis, you maintain health, maintain your metabolism, maintain your muscle system while your body's transforming. Allow clothes to be the biggest indicator. Unless you're working with a scientist that can measure all these other things and know how much your bone density is, your muscle mass is, use your clothes. And then once you fit in your clothes, go celebrate, go have fun. And then go find new clothes to wear that don't fit and then go until you get into those. And rinse and repeat. Remember, every single time you gotta celebrate. When you're in the clothes that don't fit, celebrate because you're gonna go get it. You're gonna go get there, you're gonna go get your body back, you're gonna get healthy, you're gonna get your vitality up and you're gonna feel great. And then you're gonna learn how to live your life there. So don't let this thing mess you up. Don't let this thing get in your OODA loop and mess you all over. I wanna just pick it up and break it because I watch the psychological warfare that happens continuously when people weigh themselves in these things. Now, if you're a person that can that doesn't let that get to you, fine. But just most people are. So get rid of your scale, break it, take it, take care of it, make it gone, and let's go change your life forever. And ketones will be the key to you getting there. And the scale is not gonna help you at all, but you can and you will. Thanks, y'all.